Hi guys, this is Vikram here. Today I'm going to show how to read a CSV file and create a metadata of a CSV file using Clover ETL tool. So let's start with looking at the file. We have a file named employee.input. So this is the file. It has seven columns or fields. ID, first name, last name, department ID, city, state and salary. All the fields are separated by a comma. So let's start with reading this file using Global ETL. So I have this designer open here. Let's go to the graph on new ETL graph. So let's name it as okay. Okay. To read a CSV file, we need to first uh, drag the universal data reader component. And here this file this component will be used to read the file to read the file we also need to create a metadata so in the outline section on the left here go to metadata right click new and extract from the flat file so we already have a flat file so we'll say extract metadata from a flat file give the path of the file this file here and you can see the file is loaded here now go to next and automatically it has detected that the file is comma separated the first so when you select this button extract names it will take the first row as a header and name the fields and uh, we have these fields defined here id first name last name state the type of the fields and the delimit you can also give a name of the metadata here you can say employee input and you can click on finish now we can see the metadata here now go to the component properties first of all we will provide the path of the file data in and then you have to give the metadata there are two ways one is you can go here given the ports and in the output port since it's a reader component this is the output for that component and you can give the comp metadata here click on apply and it has automatically chosen the employee input as a metadata now right click this component add a debugger here to see how data has been read or you can also before running the graph you can right click this component click on view data so you can see the data is here from the file now let's run this graph and see the data has been read correctly or not so we have 100 records in the file okay and one is a header and correct the debug and see the data so you can see the data has been read correctly now the data is in the flow of a etl job you can use it to filter the data to join the data or to sort the data Thank you. Let me know if you have any concerns or comments.